Hey there everybody, and how are you guys doing today? My name is Joe Maureen, and you are watching the Mobile Cup of Joe YouTube channel. So in this video for you guys today, I have got my full review of the Nokia Lumia 830. Now the Nokia Lumia 830 is actually packing in some pretty decent specs for a mid-range smartphone. You've got a quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 processor, 10 megapixel rear-facing Carl Zeiss PureView camera lens, and a 5-inch 720p HD display. Now the Nokia Lumia 830 is going for just $99 with a new 2 year contract on AT&T, but included with that deal you get a free Fitbit Flex, which in itself is a $100 value right there. So on AT&T for just $100 you get a Nokia Lumia 830 with a fitness tracker by Fitbit. So is this combo deal worth your hard earned dollars? We're going to go ahead and find out all that and more in my full review. But guys, before we do go any further, I'm going to have to ask you to please go ahead and grab that coffee cup, fill it up, bring it over, and sit on down. And take a swig from your mobile cup of Joe. For a budget smartphone, the Nokia Lumia 830 is actually a really good looking device. On the front of the phone we do have that 5 inch 1280 by 720p HD display. Going below that you have your three basic Windows Phone capacitive buttons, your back button, your start button, and your search button, which now opens up Cortana in Windows Phone 8.1. Now going onto the back of the phone you'll see your Carl Zeiss PureView 10 megapixel camera on the back with an LED flash. A small microphone pinhole above that with a Nokia logo, some AT&T branding, and a speaker grill. Now the Nokia Lumia 830 does come in two colors, this uh, very bright green color right here, and also a back color. Now these backs are actually removable back plates, and if you do purchase the Nokia Lumia 830 on AT&T, you actually do get both of the back plates included, so you have the option, the choice of swapping out between the black and the green color, which is a very nice option to have to kind of switch up the look and feel of the Nokia Lumia 830. Now going to the top of the phone is a 3.5mm headset jack with your micro USB syncing slash charging port, and going on to the right hand side you will find all of your physical buttons and controls for the phone, including the volume rocker, power slash lock button, and your dedicated camera capture button, which is always a very nice inclusion to have with any smartphone. In regards to its dimensions, the Nokia Lumia 830 measures in at 139.4 by 70.7 by 8.55 millimeters and weighs in at 150 grams or 5.29 ounces. So that means the Nokia Lumia 830 is a relatively trim smartphone and is actually very comfortable to hold in the hand. And the weight of it being 150 grams it doesn't make it the lightest phone out there, but it feels very substantial in the hand and feels like a very well built phone. You have a polycarbonate plastic on the back, but you do have an aluminum frame surrounding the entirety of the phone, making it feel like a very high-end device and really makes it feel much more premium and more high class than its lower price point does suggest. So having a very nice build quality, the phone does feel like it could take a couple falls and still be intact. So along with a trim design, a solid feel in the hand, and an overall really great looking design, especially with the two options of back plates you get with the phone, the Nokia Lumia 830 is really one of the best looking budget smartphones, and really one of the best looking Windows phones you can currently find on the market right now. Now the Nokia Lumia 830, as I mentioned earlier, is featuring a 5 inch 1280 by 720p HD display, and is bringing in 294 pixels per inch. Now the actual type of screen used here on the Nokia Lumia 830 is an IPS LCD panel and is utilizing Nokia's clear black display technology. Now the clear black display technology gives you very rich and deep blacks, maybe not quite as deep as something as you're going to find on an AMOLED screen, but they're still very nice to look at, they've got a lot of richness to them and they make for a very pretty looking display. You also have very stark whites on here and solid outdoor visibility since this is an IPS panel. I would have liked to see maybe a higher brightness setting on the phone as it is not the brightest screen I've ever seen on a smartphone, but for a relatively budget phone and for only a 720p panel, this is a very good looking display and it really does do justice to the very colorful look of the Windows Phone operating system. I really don't have any major complaints for the phone, viewing angles are pretty solid, and although you don't have that same level of sharpness that you're going to find 
on a 1080p or a quad HD display. This is still a really nice looking display here. I don't have any issues. Pictures look great. Videos look awesome. Playing games look really solid as well. So this is a very comparable screen and is going to get you through any days of use and you're not going to have any issues with the display whatsoever here. As for its performance, the Nokia Lumia 830 is packing in a quad-core 1.2GHz processor that is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 chipset, the Adreno 305 GPU and 1GB of RAM, with 16GB of internal storage that are expandable up to 128GB. Now in regards to general performance and day-to-day -day use, I really did not come into contact with any major situations of lag or stutter with the phone. Time and time again, the Snapdragon 400 processor proves to be a very powerful chipset for these lower end smartphones, and Windows Phone 8.1, time and time again as well, is very buttery and very smooth on these lower end chipsets and with less amounts of RAM. I will say though that since there you are limited to one gigabyte of RAM, multitasking is not the most uh, enjoyable experience on the phone, just because since you are limited to only one gigabyte for your RAM, if you try to have multiple applications open at once and you wanna hop back and forth between them, you will notice the applications restarting as you're trying to switch back and forth between a lot of them open at the same time. That's really the only big drawback for the phone. If you know what the phone is, if you know what kind of things you're going to be doing with it, if you're a light user of your phone, maybe a moderate one of a lot of social media, emailing, uh, streaming some video, playing some light games here or there, the phone is going to be fine for that, but just don't expect to be running numerous applications at once at the same time or playing the latest and the greatest games, because that's just not something that's going to be possible here on the phone. The camera on the Nokia Lumia 830 is definitely one of the biggest aspects for the hardware of the device. Going around to the back side of the phone, the camera sensor takes up a rather large portion on the back side and really does do a lot to draw some attention to itself. Now as for the sensor itself, this is a 10 megapixel Carl Zeiss PureView camera lens with a single LED flash. When you hold down the camera capture button on the right side of the phone, you will be booted into the Nokia camera application previously named the Nokia Pro Camera app. Now the Nokia camera is without a doubt one of my favorite viewfinders, one of my favorite camera launchers for any mobile platform. Now that's talking about Apple's camera launcher and the Google camera and any other camera for a mobile device, whatever the operating system may be. The Nokia camera app has some of the most extensive features of any camera app and is that really one of the most fun to use as well. At the top you have information for adjustments for your flash, white balance, exposure, ISO, all that fun stuff. Swiping out from the camera capture button, you have sliders to adjust your white balance, to adjust your exposure, your ISO, your depth of field, anything you really want to change for the settings of the Nokia Lumia 830's camera, you have access to do that here with the camera software. Now as for the actual resolution and the quality of the pictures themselves, I was very impressed with what I was able to get out of the Lumia 830. Pictures taken outside in brightly lit situations look very nice. The 10 megapixel Carl Zeiss PureView camera lens does a great job at accurately reproducing colors and making them really pop out from the display of, of, that you're looking at them from and really gives very pretty looking photos. Even in indoor situations where there's not a lot of natural lighting, although you can see some uh, graininess and digital noise in the pictures, the Lumia 830 does still do a very solid job at delivering a nice looking photo. Now if you do use the flash on the phone, you will see that the pictures tend to get a bit washed out, but that's kind of common for really any smartphone camera, and especially when we're dealing with only one single LED flash. But overall though, I was very impressed with the camera here on the Lumia 830, especially for a more of a mid-range smartphone, usually the camera, is the area for these types of products that takes the biggest hit. But Nokia has kind of come to be known for very good performing cameras over the past couple of years, and the Nokia Lumia 830 does nothing to um, be an exception to that rule, as this is a very great camera, and it's probably one of the best you're going to find in this price range for the phone. As for the battery, the Nokia Lumia 830 does have a rather smaller unit, coming in at just 2,200 milliamp hours. Now this battery is removable, so in case you do run out of juice throughout the day, you can go ahead and pop in a new battery for your use with the phone. Thankfully though, although the battery is rather small uh, compared to other phones on the market right now, thanks to the Snapdragon 400 processor and the lower res 720p HD display, you can actually get some rather impressive battery performance here on the Nokia Lumia 830.
Personally for me, I was able to get through two full days of comfortable usage with the phone. And since the Nokia Lumia 830 is a relatively mid-range smartphone, the people that are going to be buying this phone, you're most likely going to be using it for just checking all your socials out there, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, etc., taking some pictures, downloading a few apps, checking the weather, maybe playing some Angry Birds or some other lighter games here and there. Some relatively uh, just normal day-to-day -day operations on the phone, nothing that's too intensive on the processor. And because of this, getting through two full days is probably going to be very possible for most owners of the phone. And again, with these mid-range devices and these considered budget smartphones, it's very awesome to see such good battery performance on these types of phones. In regards to the software, the Nokia Lumia 830 is running the latest version of Windows Phone 8.1. Now, I've talked in depth about Windows Phone 8.1 in previous reviews of other Windows Phone devices, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about the operating system here. But just as a quick refresher, Windows Phone 8.1 looks very similar to the previous Windows Phone 8, but does bring along some much needed improvements that prior versions of Windows Phone were desperately lacking. One of the biggest ones is your action center, so you can swipe down from the top of your phone now and have quick access to certain settings such as your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode, and rotation lock. And you can also see all of the notifications that have come into your phone throughout the day, uh, such as Cortana, news, Facebook, Twitter, uh, any text messages or missed calls you may have, all those will show up in your notification center like they do in Android or iOS. Navigating through Windows Phone 8.1, uh, if you've used Windows Phone before in the past, you're going to be right at home here with the Lumia 830. You've got your main start screen where you can go ahead and resize and change the look and color of your live tiles, and you can go ahead and add a custom wallpaper with Windows Phone 8.1, which I know is a much wanted feature for many Windows Phone users. And then if you go over to the right, you've got your vertical alphabetical list of all of your installed applications and the Windows Store has been improving quite a lot throughout the past few months um is really not a bad Windows uh, store for a way to getting your applications on the phone you've got big titles in there like trivia crack minecraft candy crush saga Facebook Instagram Twitter IMDB the weather channel pretty much all of the main applications that uh, pretty much everyone uses on a day-to-day -day basis those are going to be here on the windows store now if there's an application release it's not going to be on the windows store that same very day but we also already have trivia crack on windows phone 8.1 which is a relatively new application and windows store has been improving quite a lot over the past few months again it's not up to the likes of apple's app store or Google's Play Store, but it is improving con constantly. Every day it is getting new applications, and slowly it will be up to the likes of those other app stores. But as for right now, if you do rely a lot on Google services, Gmail, Hangouts, Google+, you're not gonna find those on the Windows Store, and probably won't for quite some time if we ever do. But if you know the applications you use, take a gander through what Windows Store has to offer. If you like the app selection you see there, uh, Running your life on a day-to-day -day basis on the Windows Home platform is a very plausible thing to do. I personally love the operating system, I love the live tiles, I love the seamless and the integrated look throughout the whole operating system uh, through the UI and through the different applications. So if I didn't rely on Google services as much as I do, I would buy a Windows Phone device in a heartbeat because it's very smooth, it's very snappy, it looks gorgeous, and all in all it's just a really fun operating system to use on any platform and any device. So guys, if you are looking for a new mid-range smartphone on AT&T, the Nokia Lumia 830 is honestly one of your best ways you can go right now. Although the phone may not be perfect, you may not be able to do a lot of multitasking on it, you can't play the latest and greatest games on there, and the display is only a 720p panel, this is still a very solid smartphone. Day-to-day -day operations run flawlessly on it, the phone looks and feels very nice in the hand. The camera on here is superb, especially for the price range. Battery performance is top notch, and all in all, this is a really, really great choice. If you can get over the somewhat limited app selection of the Windows Store, and you do like what Windows Phone has to offer, you're really going to fall in love with the Lumia 830. Especially when you do factor in that free Fitbit Flex right here with the purchase of the device on AT&T, it really becomes an even sweeter deal, especially with the new introduction of the Fitbit application for the Windows platform, having the Fitbit Flex with the Nokia Lumia 830 is just the perfect package. So again, if you're looking for a device, I cannot recommend the Lumia 830 any anymore. Uh, if you're a mid-range smartphone, don't want to spend a lot of dollars on your new phone, but you want to get something with AT&T that's still a very nice phone, but you just don't want to break the bank, uh, you really can't do much better than the Nokia Lumia 830. 
But guys, there you go. That is my full review of the Nokia Lumia 830. If you have any further questions about the phone, I would love to know what they are, and I'd love to answer them for you too down in the comments below. And if there's another device you'd like to see us review here on Mobile Cup Joe, either from me, Tony, or Alvi, go ahead and sound off down in the comments below or let us know on our Google Plus page. If you like this video, we'd all really appreciate it if you'd go ahead and click that like button. And don't forget to go ahead and subscribe here to the Mobile Cup of Joe YouTube channel. We're around 2,800 subscribers at the time of recording this video, and we will have a very awesome giveaway for some sweet stuff and some free swag and freebies when we do hit 3,000 subscribers. So go ahead and do that now to make sure you don't miss that when it comes up. And if you want to stay in touch some more, go ahead and circle me on Google Plus and circle the channel as well. There will be links to all that information down in the description below. But with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.